Hey, good evening, Bo and Mud for Jesus. It's gonna be a little bit different video, it's kind of a sad video for me and my wife, but uh, we are selling our toy hauler, and but you know, no threat. We're not getting out of the, getting out of riding or nothing or camping. We bought an RV and decided to go a different route this time. So we're selling our Sundowner toy hauler. So stay tuned and look at it. Our 2020 Sundowner toy hauler. I'm gonna start with up front. We've added this emblem. We run a YouTube page. Uh, extras that come with it here is the Pegasus. It's an easy ride system. It helps with all the bumps for the fifth wheel. I mean for the uh, gooseneck portion. Torque flex. If you look up and under here, you've got your propane tanks. We've added the leveling leveler there, so when you're leveling, you can see it front and back. This is an extra tool toolbox here that's been added. But this leveling system gives you your side to side and your front to back, so it's easy to do from here. Here is a Bluetooth camera that's been added. There's four on the coach. It comes with a uh, monitor that plugs up inside, all wireless as far as inside. This is one of your cameras here. It is 50 amp. <clears throat> I'll come down and let you see the side of it. It's got the one piece aluminum roof. It's the graphics model. It does have added an extra dump hose container has been added. Also, it's had a two inch lift put on it. It's been undercoated. You can kind of see it all looks nice. These are brand new tires that we have added after the fact. These are not the factory tires. The load rating on these were a lot more. They are Carlisle's. Uh, I'm trying to look here to see if I can see the load rating. Can't see it at the moment, but they were a lot. They were rated for a lot more than what the ones come on it was for. Back here on the ladder, goes up to where the generator stand is. It is gym prep, and I'll show you inside in a minute. We've got a flag decal up on top. Also, that pole with an antenna, that pole extends way up. That is gonna be a wireless antenna for your cell phone signals, and it works great. We have AT&T and uh, Cell South. On the back, we have a big emblem on the back. No big deal, it was just done by vinyl. Up there at the top, you can see another camera. That's how you can see the people behind you. I'm gonna work my way around. We leave this coach plugged up all the time. I'm gonna let you kind of look up under it real quick because I'm at a spot here that's low. It's all aluminum. The only wood that's in it is just the foundation. All undercarriage, everything is aluminum. The chassis is metal. They have rubber and paint separating between the aluminum and the metal combined. There is a gas tank for your generator. I don't remember how many gallons it is. You've got a full length, or I say full length, it don't go the whole trailer, awning. It's the biggest you could get. And this is the uh, left side top of the gin rack. It's got a back door here. Fold up step. On this side, you can see this camera. That way you can see down both sides of the trailer while you're in mobile. You can also see the back up while you're hooking. 
and unhook him because of the camera up here in the front. All right, that's enough of the outside. Let's go to the inside. All right, let's go up inside the coach. That way you'll know exactly, you can see exactly what this is. And we can show you here at the door, this is a pro grade toy hauling. It's got your gray colors. We're gonna start to the right. Right here to the right is a bedroom. Got two vent covers up there if you don't want the air blowing right in your face. We have optioned an LG Smart TV. It is hooked to the front. Uh, it's also hooked to the antenna online. Or not online, but the over-the-air antenna. You can watch that anytime you want to. You got plenty of storage up there behind those three doors. You got some USB and 110 hookups up front. You do have speakers above here if you want to turn the sound system on and listen to it from inside. Back up here in, in the living or in the bedroom rather you've got two full deep drawers and then you've got a cabinet. We keep them tied. Just like any moving vehicle we just don't want them coming off. They are lit when you open the doors. You have a light in there and you can tell there is lots of storage just in here. This is where my wife keeps her things. All right, next we're gonna go back down into the uh, living quarters area. But before we get down through there, I'm gonna show you this first panel right here on the left. This is your fuel tank for your generator. And there's your gym prep your start button and you can see their hours are at zero it is made for a con a common zone and generator we've never put it on there here is your slide and slide light it does have the coleman central units in it of course it is hot in here we don't run the ac all the time we have added a razor key holder it is done by pop ribbits you do have a battery disconnect right down there at the bottom in front of the fire extinguisher all right, the first room we're going to come to here on the right will be the bathroom. And you have to excuse everything's kind of piled up. <clears throat> but you've got a nice full size shower here that comes in an RV. It's already got the added uh, wand that has the cut on and off switch, plus the settings. It's also got mirror and all this already. We're not going to take that down, it's going to stay. You got plenty of storage over here. And these storages are pretty deep. We just keep random stuff there and we keep like towels, stuff down below. And below that, for the toilet brush that is mounted, is stainless. This is a porcelain with a nice slam lid. So if you're up in the night, you ain't gonna wake your significant other up when you go throw that down. Here in the bathroom, it is a pocket door. And the pocket door locks here for privacy. No big deal. It does have a vent fan up top. We also have the vent fan cover over it. But it's just a regular 12 volt vent fan. You still gotta come up here and open this up, but then it's got the uh, weather cover over it so you can always use it. Doesn't matter if it's raining. It is a push button. And works great. Here at the sink area, we've got a big old cabinet here, it's mirror, and you can keep all your stuff in there. <clears throat> Hot and cold. Underneath the sink, you've got plenty of more storage, plus, you've got where your uh, pipes and stuff are. If you see that green stuff, that's just shaved up soap. We do that to keep the mice out. We've never had any issues and we were told that uh, Irish Spring works great for that. And so far, not a single issue in this camper as far as mice. All right, coming out of the bathroom to the left, this is my closet. As you can see, it's also lit. <clears throat> got plenty of room in it. It's actually got more room than the other one. 
So I kind of took it from my wife because, you, you know, they say me, uh, women have more, but yeah, not in this household. There's drawers in under it. These drawers we utilize for the kitchen. These are deep, really deep drawers. My wife said she's going to miss these because we bought an RV and the RV doesn't have this much deep storage. As you can see, those are deep pans. Right, you got your traditional gas stove, lifts up, nothing new there. We do have the breaker that's going with it. It's a 50 amp breaker. And this is your tank. It shows you all your uh, fluid levels. This is your gas and electric for your hot water heater. You, got two. you have two or three more drawers here that we keep our dishes and stuff in. This bottom one, just kind of tools. This is where your hot water heater is. This is your valves to cut on and off for flushing and winterizing and such. Over here is for the sink. We did opt and have a different sink put on. I mean, a different faucet. It's a lot better. It's a mowing. Works great. Up above, got more storage here. And they're deep. Really deep. You hear a beep in the background, that's our fire alarm. It needs a battery. There's the microwave. Like I said, this thing's prepped with two Coleman AC units. They're both 15,000 BTU. They both have heat strips. Not to mention, this thing also has a gas furnace, but we never use the furnace because of the heat strips. Uh, where we camp at, it's never cold enough to worry about it. Uh, over here underneath the sink, you've got this, this other drawer. Kind of a pull out that's just kind of where we keep little odd and end things underneath we keep other things we've got another oven there and then your plumbing so you see, i mean there's tons of storage inside this coach we have added this towel rack here uh i'm gonna come around to the opposite side of the kitchen and this is where your jackknife sofa also pulls out into a bed has an armrest i'm not going to pull it out into a bed i mean there's, it's simple underneath this is where your fresh water tank is your water pump uh, your furnace is on the right side not to mention right there is your uh, booster for your cell phone it's wired into 12 volt all you do is come in here and plug it into the bottom and i'll show you that it does work we just don't leave it plugged up because we just don't like it running if I don't need it. As you can see there, it works perfect. The antenna for it is on the back of the wall right there. And it picks up through most of the coach. Up top is more drawers. They're really deep. You can see how deep this is compared to my arm. The cabinets, my wife just pointed out. <clears throat> But we keep these tight containers in them and then we put stuff in them so that they're easier to pull out and get what we want out of them. There's little lights underneath. The shades are, uh, you've got two different type shades here. You've got your privacy and normal shades and then you push it all the way up to the window. Here to the left, it's got a Dometic refrigerator freezer. It is automatic with gas, 12 volt or 110. It's got a pretty good bit of storage up there. I'll go ahead and open this up so you can see in it. <clears throat> we keep it propped when we're not using it. I'm not very good at keeping these things on here. We carry a lot of water. Down below is some more storage. This is underneath. Of course, we got stuff in here, so you can't really tell. Can't tell much about it. <clears throat> underneath the uh, jackknife sleeper, also, this is where your switches are for when you're switching over to your water pump and for when you're doing a quick uh, winterization. We've got the winterization kit added to it. 
So it's real simple to do. I mean, super simple. And it's magnetized. All right, we're gonna go to the back. Right here to the back, we have added, had a, a pop-up counter. This pop-up counter did not come standard. If you look up underneath, those are drop down, so it will lay flat. We never lose it, never leave it down. It comes with two bar stews. They're both connected in underneath. Uh, we also optioned in fireplace. <clears throat> All done by Sundowner. It's also another TV here. Then up here is your Furion radio, and it's also a DVD player. Now we have our PlayStation in here, so that's what we use, but sorry, PlayStation, don't go with it. It also has storage on left and right side. This is where we mainly keep our DVDs. And I think we have blankets on this side, yeah. This is the second thermostat. This is back to the back door. <clears throat> See if I can zoom out so. All right, this is the second doorway. This is your ramp door. This lets down so you can bring your toy in. If you notice up here at the top, it's got a pull down screen. So if it's nice and pretty outside, <coughs> it magnetizes to the ground. So you can pull that all the way down, let your ramp out and you have some fresh air coming in here. Also at the back, we had this helmet holder added. I really hate to let that go, but at this point it really needs to stay. Oh. It's got another flip up table back here. The small one, we usually set our chairs up on left and right hand side. We've got a place where we keep our cords, our tie down straps. And these drawers, or cabinets rather, are done just like the ones over there, except we use these a little different. Let's see here. We've got these little file dividers and they're labeled. And we kind of know where our extra stuff is. So that's how we done these. We don't like digging for stuff. All right, well, you've seen the inside. Have any questions, give us a call.